for the pleasure of Shula Gurudev and all the assembled Vaishnavas, attended by our Chidandi Sanyasyan, to all our Vaishnavis, Vaishnavas, and all our respected guests. The devotees here in New Braj have organized such beautiful drama plays. For the pleasure of the tonight, they have organized a wonderful, sweet pastime called Prem Samput. So please, everyone be quiet and prepare yourselves for a very extraordinary and beautiful drama play. Thank you. Hare Krishna. We offer our respectful Dandavat Pranam, unlimited time, to our beloved Srila Gurudev and Srila Prabhupada. We humbly present this drama from Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur's Sri Sri for the pleasure of all the Vaishnavas. Please forgive any mistakes or shortcomings. Have to have the pastimes of Krishna. Loving attachment has a particular nature that is extraordinary. Within the heart of Sri Krishna, a desire may spontaneously arise. Within the heart of Sri Krishna, a desire may spontaneously arise to hear from his Srimati Radhika's mouth about the excellence of her love for him and the inferiority of his love for her. Previously, on the night of the Ratha dance, Sri Shamsunga had accepted defeat in the midst of the gopis. At that time, he had told them, O gopis, I am not able to repay my debt to you. Now, he was absorbed in the same mood of loving attachment. So early one morning, under the control of such love, Rajendra Nandan Sri Krishna, the unrestricted, carefree enjoyer of rasa, disguised himself as a young woman of heart stealing beauty and went to the courtyard of Sri Vishwamani Nandini. Covering his lotus face with a veil, he appeared before Sri Mati Radhika. Yes, 
yourself. There is no need to be shy with us. We can see the need to be our intimate friend. Are you suffering from separation from your beloved? Or do you feel dejected because like me, you are subject to the constant harsh reproach of scornful elders? Are you feeling some discomfort in your body? I have a very special medicine that my father sent me. Just by using it, it will alleviate all your suffering. Art. 
indeed. Even though you have a human form, the demigoddesses of heaven bow their heads to the ground when they hear your glories. When I heard about you, I developed a great desire to meet you. Seeing you has fulfilled this desire. But still, my heart is burning with distress. Oh, my friend, what is the cause of your intense suffering? Please, tell me at once. Hey, Radhi. <coughs> that Sri Krishna, he is a shameless debauchee. How can you love such a lusty person? It is true that Sri Krishna is full and complete with all opulence. But he has one fault that nullifies all of it. He does not understand the meaning of praying. I was watching hiding in Vamsiva, and I saw how that crooked cheater repeatedly showed his love for you. But then, he abandoned you to meet with someone else. On the night of the last dance, Sri Krishna left all the other gopis and took you alone. But after a very short time, when you grew a little tired, he left you in the forest all alone. At that time, you wept and you called for him. Alas, I will never forget your condition. Oh, fortunate one, Krishna is the beloved of my life. His potency to attract my heart is unparalleled. Although he has hurt me time and again, I am unable to sever my heart's attachment to him. Often, I decide to stop talking to him. But the moment I see him, I forget everything. The nature of unconditional love is such that once it manifests, it is not so easily destroyed. It is not possible to understand the nature of the pain that Krishna and I have for each other simply by talking about it. Pain is far from the us. It can only be understood by that person who is experiencing it.
salvation. Yet unless we deliberate and endeavor to please Sri Krishna, pain will not manifest in the heart. Hundreds of thousands of obstacles can obstruct it. In fact, multitudes of difficulties only nourish it more. The desire to gratify one's own senses is called lust or calm. In pain, there is not even a trace of desire for one's own sense enjoyment. Sri Krishna is Atmaram and Atagam. He is completely self-satisfied and has no material desires. No one can enchant Sri Krishna by their lust. He is only controlled by pure pain. Osaki, Sri Vajendranandan, is a mind of jewel-like qualities. His deceitfulness, crookedness, and fickleness, they are all extremely charming. He increases the love of his beloved gopis by displaying such qualities. If Krishna did not exhibit these dealings, the greatness of our love for him would not be able to reach its height. Sometimes, when Krishna fails to meet with me due to meeting with another gopi, I become angry and chastised. My desire will be so, and hers also. 
So he tenderly carried me just a few steps before he disappeared. There was no fault in him. He accepts me alone as his most beloved. Oh, Daddy. You have so wonderfully explained to me the characteristics of praying. And I now understand that you are the embodiment of this love. But my friend, I am telling you, without a doubt, that Sri Krishna has no pain. You have given me many reasons explaining his behavior. But how do you know this is the truth? Oh, Saki. I am aware of all the wounds in the heart of my beloved as soon as they arrive. Well, my friend, I am not questioning whether or not you know the mind and heart of Sri Krishna. What I want to know is whether or not Sri Krishna knows your mind. I know this is the most secret of topics. But please, please explain everything to me. Oh, Sati, listen, and I will tell you the secret of this. Generally, it is impossible to speak about. But today, I will reveal everything to you. Because your pain has made me restless. Common people say that Radha and Krishna are eternally present in each other's hearts, and that is why they know each other's minds. This is not the truth. In a lake, two lotuses, one blue and one golden, may bloom from the same stem. In the same way, our two bodies are connected as one life. We are one soul. There is no difference between us. But for the sake of tasting our astonishing pastime, we manifest two forms. Oh, I have understood everything you have said. But this crooked mind of mine wishes to test the truth of your words. If everything you have said is true, then you should have the power to bring Sri Krishna here, right now. If we really are one soul and there is no separation between us, please appear before me now and give happiness to my intimate associates.
Chang, it is most astonishing that you have appeared here undetected. That person who can enter here without fear must be the crest jewel of courageous men. Our beloved Saki is the best of chaste women. But what are you doing here? Just now, our beloved Radhika sat down and closed her eyes to worship the sun god. And now you have come here to disturb us. You do not know the meaning of shame. Have you no fear of the sun god or any regard for social etiquette and moral virtues? <laughs> oh, Radha, it is most fortunate for you that Jatila and Abhimanyu are not here. I am not to blame for what has happened. I was simply minding my own business, playing in the courtyard of the cow shed, when I suddenly remembered Sri Radhika, and some demigod has brought me here. <laughs> oh, Radhika, Krishna has appeared simply by me remembering him. Where has that demigod gone? Does she believe me now? Aha! Uh -huh. Now I know your trick. You must have learned some mantra from this demigoddess that you speak of. You have brought me here to be your servant. Ah, I also want to learn this mantra. <laughs> In your hand, you hold a shining flint. Why do you need any mantra? Alas. The flute cannot always fulfill my task. How can it help me when you people are always stealing it from me? Anyhow, let's go find this demigoddess.
Oh, who has compiled? Oh, you. Oh, my blessing. Oh, yeah. Very good I have chosen. Oh, this the second rope was done. What was what treasure was hidden in the box unlocked? This one I talk about the Thapu. Can be for all. He has opened that box. And what jewel was there? He sought to all. Something he has written in the commentary of Srimad Bhagavatam at Rash Lila, but fully he could not satisfy. So he written a, he has written a book named Samput. Samput means box. And that it was hidden. It was hidden in the heart of Radhika and Krishna, but especially in the heart of Radhika, that love and affection. Vishwanath Jasvati Thakur kindly opens that heart and gave it to him. Generally we can tell Krishna was very, very cruel, very cruel. We cannot imagine. <laughs> but Krishna came in the form of a very Beautiful Apsara. <coughs> and he made all his doubt open to Srimati Radhika. But Radhika knew the heart of Krishna. She began to cut his argument. Krishna never can be shown to He is kind, so kind and most kind. And that he has told in them something. Very long story that has they told. I don't want to repeat them, but anyhow, Radhika got all the arguments which can come in a, anyone's heart. And then in the end, oh, Krishna was satisfied. Krishna then. <laughs> Radhika told that, oh, Devi, if you will be with me for your life long time, then you can understand the hidden what pain is. Otherwise you couldn't understand, so you are oh, making so many jobs. So, oh, Krishna told, Krishna is that Devi told, oh, I want to be with you. And then he came in his way under the cotton, they made together. And so many paintings of the Tremsampur and others is available? Oh. <laughs> I have uh, told about book and all that you should be thinking. And also, all these paintings, it came from my heart and I gave it to Shamrani and he has, he has painted. All these modes there, so you can collect also all these things. And this is the